What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube. Uh, today I'm out here in Rescue Valley, Arizona with my buddy Alex, the cameraman. Uh, we're out in a secluded area. Very pretty. Today my video is going to be 8 things I hate about my car. This applies to my car specifically. And a couple things are to all 94, 95 SN95 Mustangs. Uh, the first one is the paint. When I got this car, it was not taken care of properly and uh, it also had been in one wreck before previously and whoever painted it last didn't do a good job. As you can see here, they just sprayed over the old paint and it's peeling now and you see uh, orange peel everywhere. The roof has sun, sun rot and uh, is in poor condition. And also I have some chips around the paint. Also talking about the paint, I do not like the color black. Uh, black interior is really cool, but the outside, it kind of sucks because once it's even dirty a little bit, it shows everything. Uh, I washed this car yesterday. I made a video with Alex. We cleaned the car, how I do it for it, really cheap. And look at it. All I did was drive on the freeway and drive home and park my car overnight, and it looks filthy. But, uh, yeah, that's talking about paint and uh, my car. Uh, the second one is the spoiler. Uh, as I said again, my car was in a wreck. Uh, I'm not sure when or how, but they put a, uh, from what I know, this is a GT wing. The Cobra had the lobster claw wing, and I think this is pure ugly. When you look on the side, it's, it doesn't really look pleasing. And it, it also has sun fade and was taken care of badly. But uh, I don't like the wing uh, as I, say in all my previous videos i really want the ducktail spoiler it's from a company fiberglass fabrications or something uh, i can link the description but it's a sick it comes up like this about this high and it looks awesome uh, but luckily uh, that spoiler will fit in the direct bolt patterns of this gt wing so i won't have any issues of drilling new holes in my trunk uh, yeah, that, that's about my wing. I don't like it. I want to replace it. I'll either do a saline wing or the ducktail spoiler wing. And that's about my wing. Uh, the other one is my seats. These factory seats. This is, a, this is the Cobra. It's the performance one. It's supposed to be able to rip. These seats have no grab. Look at this. When I'm cornering this baby, I fly everywhere and I have to use my legs to support myself and it holds me zero. So I don't like those seats. Overall, it looks really clean and good with the interior. Uh, my interior is pretty nice. I have one rip, uh, but they don't hold you at all. So I'm gonna have to get some nice cheaper Cobra or see if I can find some uh, Recaros. I've seen guys recently, they found the Ford Fiesta or Ford Focus ST. Recaros cheap on the eBay or uh, Craigslist and swap them into this and they fit perfect and they're really nice. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that or trying to find some uh, 0304 Cobra seats. But uh, everybody knows, everybody wants those. And I like to stick out with my car and be a little bit different, so I think I might go with that ST route. Uh, the other one is... Give me one second. Okay, my rims... Someone took the stock Cobra rims off of them. Uh, they're, they're, they look like the Cobra R. I think that's what they're called. But these are just 99 Cobra rims. I don't think they're beautiful at all. They're kind of just bland. But the Cobra ones, they stick out and they're really nice. Overall, I'm going to get rid of these and just keep them as my burnout tires. Uh, right now, I'm thinking about some saline rims or a Cobra R, 95 Cobra R, not the 2000 or some FR500s or Rovos. I know that's four, but I might get one of them. Uh, it's gonna be a while because I still gotta do some engine work, do the spoiler and the paint, and the rims will be after that. Uh, also about my car, or I'll pop the hood for you guys. Engine parts for this bad boy are really expensive. I don't know why, but uh, it must be because the 94, 95 5.0s are different, but who knows? They're really expensive for some reason. Even though it's the same engine, what I know of is in the Fox, and uh, 
I don't know, but uh, I'm trying to supercharge or turbo this car and uh, prices for the Vortec superchargers or to find the Kenny Bell that was for the 94, 95 Cobra and GT. No, 94, 95 Cobra, not the GT. They're like a thousand or two thousand dollars more than the, the supercharger kit that you can get from uh, Vortec or Kenny Bell for the regular Fox bodies that have the same engine. It's just the brackets are different. They're like way more expensive and they're more rare. And I can never find a Kenny Bell. But uh, the Vortex, they're selling on eBay and they're like almost $5,000, the full kit. Uh, I've been trying to stalk Craigslist or Facebook and try and find a Vortex or a Kenny Bell. That's what I want. I really don't want to have to go turbo because it's hot in Arizona and I want to stay cool and not worry about overheating. But overall for this car, car I think parts are more expensive. Uh, I don't know any of you other guys uh, running the 94, 95, 5 O's, can you comment below and tell me is the parts more expensive or is it just me? I might be a cheapo but uh, I'm a college student, everybody knows that. So parts are really expensive for this car, I don't know why. Uh, another one for this factory from this car, you only get, I think it's like 215, 225 horsepower. And that, that's kind of ridiculous, ridiculous from the Cobra from Ford. Really guys, this is the Cobra. This is supposed to be ripping Camaros, a new one. So 215 horsepower. Yeah, it's the nineties, but you could do a little bit better. 250, 300 was where I'm trying to. With my build, I was told I'm running about 330 horsepower, and uh, it suits me happy. It keeps me going. Uh, when I want power, it's there. When I want torque and be to push, be pushed in my seats, it's there. So it took about two thousand twenty-five hundred dollars to build a 330 horsepower motor. I'm assuming around 330 to 90 torque. That's what I'm told from like talking with LMR and guys who also have done this but parts are expensive and the performance from Ford factory was poor guys a razor just passed me that's I'm on a secluded road we had to move we were gonna film over by the underpass but uh, it's a freeway and also one other thing from this car from Ford what I thought was really poor was the rear end gears uh, I think I was told there are three, three point zero fives, or three tens or something. I think they need to come stock either three seventy three, maybe even four ten or three fifty fives. Uh, I think they were too low. Uh, another one slash my eighth one is going to be my fifth gear, and it goes coincide with uh, the rear end gears. When I put it in fifth gear, it chugs unless I'm doing around 85. Uh, I don't know if that's my car or all of the cars that are factory and have stock rear end gears, but my car chugs and it, it, it really doesn't want to be in fifth gear. Uh, comment down below if that's just my car or what I what gears I should put in so I can actually use fifth gear as a performance gear and stuff. But overall, um, that's all eight things guys uh this is specific to my car except the last two uh, uh the ford horsepower is really low and i think which is low and the rear end gears that applies to everyone but the rest are just about my car specifically the person who had it before me took poor care of it and the paint's really crap they took the nice wheels and parts are expensive for this just plain out uh Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below what else I should do a video on or what I should do to my car. But right now, guys, I'm trying to do the fiberglass spoiler and I just found a uh, splitter from the same company for the Cobra bumper. And I might do a diffuser, maybe a body kit, but who knows? I'm working on a budget here. And also, I want to do a supercharger or turbo kit. I'm really thinking Vortec or Kenny Bell. But if I don't have the funds, I'm going to go with On3 Performance, the turbo kit, the same 75 millimeter one. Uh, but I'm going to have to take my long tube headers out, guys, and those were a pain. I really don't want to get rid of those, and they're almost $600. So, uh, yeah, that's my upcoming videos. I mean, up, upcoming things I want to do, but my next video is going to be the 8 or 10 things I 
do like about my car. Guys, I do like this car. It took me almost two years to build. This is my dream car, Mustang. And my buddy Alex, the cameraman, helped me. Uh, we're gonna start him a YouTube video. We're trying to get him a Mustang, but right now he has a sick Mazda. It's a five-speed non-turbo. It's the Mazda 3 hatchback. But uh, we're gonna start him a video and we're gonna start doing some videos of me and him racing. And uh, we're also gonna do a video, the Fox body, my sister's versus this. Uh, from what I told, it was stock and it just has the auto. Uh, but she pulled on me yesterday and she almost had me, but I, I kept up. Uh, those are some upcoming videos, but talking about the turbo kit or something, if I can uh, find a nice Kenny Bell or Vortec, I'm going to do that. But other than that, right now I'm going to take out the long tube headers, see if anybody wants to buy them. They're ceramic coated long, long tube pace setter headers. Uh, so if any of you want them to buy them, I'll sell them to you. They do have some work on it. They were the slip on. Uh, X pipe, but I got it changed to the three the circle three bolt and So they're easier and won't uh, give you exhaust leaks. So let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out